here we have another variable uh, orifice uh, style. Uh, notice here we got oil port on this side and we got an oil port on this side. There's an arrow on cast into this variable orifice. This arrow here is showing the direction of free flow. So when I show you, when I flip it over, you'll notice that the arrow right there is indicating the direction that the oil would flow through this orifice in a free flow, unrestricted. And when I mean, what I mean by that is oil would come in, lift this light check ball with this light spring in there and, by, and flow through the other end. So really all it has to overcome is this light three pound uh, spring behind this check ball. But notice then when the oil comes in this direction, when the oil comes back, trying to get back, notice how it has to go through these feathering notches because the oil has the oil comes in here and there's this orifice right there just created by this variable, this feathering notch here that we can adjust through this variable uh, screw right here to adjust our, our flow through this and the, and the restriction, restricted side. Notice that as this oil starts to build up pressure on this side, going trying to flow back, it actually goes up this cutaway or this little uh, groove up here and fills the spring cavity. That'll hydraulically lock this check ball and prevent it from opening. And so now the oil is forced to have to go through this restriction, which will slow the oil down in this direction. To draw this schematically, if you wanted to see it schematically, you would actually have the, the flow of oil going through. You'd have, you show your variable orifice, your orifice right there. How do we make it variable? We put an arrow through it. And the fact that in, in one direction it can free flow and the other direction it's restricted, what we do is we draw a check ball around it. So if I put a check ball around it like so, around the orifice, now you can see here that when oil is flowing in this direction, it can actually flow through the orifice and open the check and flow around. So it's free flow in that direction. And then in this direction, when oil's coming back in this direction, it's metered flow. 